Hey guys, Lam for 92 here again today with episode 76 of Coin Collector, and this is actually going to be kind of a special episode on how I trade and how I look for the deals I actually get in these episodes. And I know I did an episode, I think it was episode 30, um, already talking about this topic and uh, just quickly here. Um, clearing off the trade pile everyone sold and now we have about 1.8 million coins which is very nice in my opinion at least um, anyways as I said earlier I did an episode on this as well but um, some of you still seem to not have understood I get a lot of questions in the comment section on my videos um, how I find these deals and to be honest I'm not sure if I explained it well enough I thought I had and um, Maybe I didn't because it's probably too simple to um, explain it. It uh, kind of sounds a little bit weird, but um, it's just that simple and maybe it's um, too simple for me to yeah, basically explain it very well. So I hope I'll do this with this um, yeah, video here. Also, this is going to be a live commentary, so I hope I um, can put my points across well enough. Anyways, now we finally um, managed to sort out the trade pile here. Don't know why the players got stuck on there for that long. Anyways, um... How I search for the players I trade. Um, if you follow my series, of course, you know that um, most of the players, or actually all the players recently I trade, are informed players. And how I trade them is actually very simple. I look for them individually. And what I mean by that is basically what it says, the word individually. I look for each of them separately and basically look for the cheapest buy now price on the market at that time. And then I compare um, the price to the other prices that are on the market. And I calculate very quickly in my mind, of course, um, if I can make a profit on that player and um, if I am able to sell him for his average price or the price he's currently going for on the market. And it really is as simple as I just said it. And uh, um, actually what kind of helps if you had success with trading some informed players already, then it's kind of helpful, at least for me, to have kind of a set of players that you usually go for and look for. Um, when you actually start trading and for me let's just quickly um, go through some examples here for example you go the, down this list here and I always start in the Barclays Premier League and then um, I the four players I always check for uh, in the Barclays Premier League are actually Inform Koscielny, Inform Kieran Gibbs, Inform Berbatov and Inform Fellaini, the first Inform Fellaini. I always look for them because I have had lots of deals with them already and was very successful with them um, then following my set of players, I go down to the Bundesliga. There, of course, you've got a lot of Bayern players like Inform Alaba, Inform Dante, Inform Müller, Inform Toni Kroos. And um, once again, if that doesn't work out, then I go to Dortmund and I check for Inform Lewandowski and Inform um, Blaschikowski, actually. And uh, if that doesn't help, I check for Inform Weidenfeller as well. Afterwards, I probably check for Inform Hövedes or Inform Adler as well. Moving down the list here, we're now at the Eredivisie and there I actually only look for Inform... Um, gosh, why did I forget his name now? Um, Inform Josie Altidore, sorry about that. Um, forgot his name there for a bit. Moving down the list then, then I check in the Liga BVA for players like Felipe Luis, the Inform Adriano, so both of them, the left back and the right back. And... Um, afterwards, I check for in from Ronaldinho, always. Then in the Liga Portuguesa, I usually check for in from James Rodriguez. Then in the Liga, uh, I always check for in from Lovren. In the MLS, I check for in from Henri. And then moving down to the Russian League, I check for in from Busufa and in from Honda and also in from Axel Witzel. And then finally, at the Serie A, I look for in from Montolivo, in from Samuel and in from Milito. So these are a couple of players um, I always look for and um, you don't have to look for these players uh, especially. But if you are uh, struggling with finding players um, you can trade with then of course you can use them as well. It doesn't bother me too much because there will still be a lot of um, deals made with them um, on the market for me anyways. And these are just the first couple of players I always check for when I trade. And now you can of course uh, trade with every informed player and that is just a set in mind. Uh, a set I um, trade with usually. And let's quickly just um, yeah, basically go over some of the players. And the first player is actually going to be in from Kieran Gibbs. Um, oops, not from Equatorial Guinea, but from England. 
then from Arsenal, of course, and of course, you need to know the prices of the players. And I don't mean the um, the prices that are um, yeah, basically pointed out on ultimate on the ultimate database or on Foothead or on Footwiz. I know there are some rough recommendations on there, but uh, it's better to just um, know the prices um, for your own, um, so you actually can. For example, if you look for a player in the morning, in the evening, or in midday, and over a whole week or something like that, you can actually follow the player's price changes throughout the weeks, and you can just basically um, learn more about the player's prices if you check for them uh, for yourself. So just just a little tip here. Anyways, quickly checking for inform Gibbs if there are any on the market. Here for one two one two formation sixty six thousand, um, some for sixty six thousand as well. And actually, here's one for 59,000, right um, basically at the around 12 hour mark. And I'm actually, I think, going to buy him as well as this one for 58,500 coins. Just to have some live examples of the players I trade. So the two Inform Gibbs just quickly bought them. And actually, another thing I didn't mention earlier if you have like. Um, here, this Gibbs in the 41212 formation. You can, of course, check for formations individually as well. For, let's say, players under 100,000 coins, um, the formation are very important. Because above that, um, it just doesn't matter too much. Let's say, if you've got Inform Messi, for example, it doesn't mean if, uh, it doesn't matter if he's in the 41212 formation or in the, let's say, 343 formation because, um, his price compared to the price of a consumable card that will change him into a good formation is just next to nothing. Um, so moving on to the next player off my list, this is actually going to be Inform Koscielny. Quick checking for him. I don't know what he's currently going for. And nothing for under 69,000 coins. Maybe checking a little bit more, but no. And then we're moving on to Inform Fellaini. And here's actually another important thing. If you've got players, especially uh, this concerns center midfielders, center attacking midfielders, and center defensive midfielders, um, that of course is very important that you also check for the different yeah, kind of set positions for him. So first of all, I'm checking for him in the center attacking midfielder position. There's none, on, none of him on the market actually didn't check his price recently, so it might have changed quite a bit. Just looking for center midfielders here, there are only the non-informs uh, from some clever people who want to sell him very quickly. And uh, still no inform Fellaini on there. Maybe his price has gone up a lot recently. Um, so yeah, actually, what you can of course always do throughout this method is add players to your watch list. And by that, um, even if you don't check it um, before it um, expires, you can of course always go back on the players and actually check for how much they went for. Um, so I could actually um, add this Fellaini to my watch list and then just watch his price. And maybe he sells for the 41,250 coins, maybe he doesn't. Um, that's just something as always to keep in mind. And I think I will go for the last player of my yeah, kind of set here from the uh, Barclays Premier League. There was actually one Fellaini up in the 4 one 2 and 2 formation, but I'm just not going to buy him right now. And now we're, of course, looking for in from Berbatov. Um, his price actually has gone down quite a bit. There's a lot of different um, prices here at the moment and nothing really there. But that's just basically how I do it. I trade players individually. I look for their cheapest buy nows on the market. Of course, this is uh, meaning inform players. You need to know the players' prices. Otherwise, you're not going to uh, be able to make profit on them. So it's a little bit of effort to, to be put in there. But after some time, you just know the pl prices by heart and it isn't um, yeah, basically difficult at all anymore. So I hope I put my points across um, well in this video. Sorry if I rambled on a little bit here or there. Anyways, this is going to be the end of this episode, guys. If it helped you, a like is as always greatly appreciated. Um, if you still have questions, you can, of course, um, feel free to leave them in the comment section below and I will try my best to answer them as um, yeah, good as possible and as quickly as possible. Other than that, thanks once again a lot for watching and I will talk to you later.